Welcome back to another amazing Art Senu. This week we are visiting all sorts of places around Yehuda the Shamra. This is my home. This is my motherland. This is the place where I want to be. A home no one can take away from me. This is my home. This is my chosen land. This is the place I live to defend. Hoping to find some decaf to win them. This is my home. This is the place where I want to be A home no one can take away from me This is my home This is my only land This is the place where I want to be That will live on for all eternity This is my Last week we were in Yerushalayim looking at some of the ruins of Ir David. This week, as we ride through this area called Beit Shemesh, you can see behind me the beautiful new settlements of Beit Shemesh Chadash, a community that continuously grows, and so many people who we know who have made Aliyah live in neighborhoods just like this in this general area. But a very short bike ride from here, only 20 minutes away, is a very famous battleground that I would like to go visit. Come join me. Shalom, Yeladim. Ani Abelach Ordus. I'm the King Ordus. I'm the first king that built something on Metzada. Why I did it? Let me explain you. <laughs> he is a super <laughs> coward king. I'm so afraid, so I will go to live. I do a castle on a place that nobody will come to hurt me. Nobody can come to this place. Oh, it's a great place, okay? You see, it's so, so, so high that nobody can climb on. Great place to live with a view of Yam Melach. Perfect. I will go to live there. Bye-bye. Behind me is Emek Ha'ela. This battlefield is one of the most defining battlefields of one of the most important battles in Jewish history. On this battlefield, many, many years ago, stood King Shaul and then little David. 
challenging or being challenged by the Plishtim and their big tall giant named Goliath. Every day, Goliath would come out and curse the Jews and make fun of Hashem and the Torah. Shaul didn't know what to do. And one day, little David came to visit his brothers who were all generals for Shaul. And David said, let me fight him. And David walked forward to Goliath. Goliath made fun of him. Goliath laughed at the little boy like, he's coming to me with a couple little stones, what's he going to do? But we know that when we battle, when we fight, when we challenge because we believe that it is our right and it's Hashem's land that was given to us, Hashem always helps us. And against Goliath, David was able to throw one stone and hit him in the head, and Goliath fell over and died. This is the battlefield that defined David as a king. It shaped the future for the Jewish people. It gave us hope that even though we're small, and always Hashem is there with us. It's a similar message to the message of Yom Yerushalayim, which we're going to celebrate in two weeks. It's the message that even though we're small, and we feel like we don't have a chance, like we say in Al Hanisim, Rabim Biad Ma'atim, it's a few who captured the many. Hashem always helps us. Hello everyone, my name is Eliezer Ben Yochanan. So, who am I, you must ask yourself, right? So, I'm the leader of the whole Jews right now. Right now, we are in a big war with the Romim. They want to kill all of us, and they are mean to us, and they want us to pay them so much money. You know what? I don't like it. I just don't agree to pay all of this money. So... Eliezer, Eliezer! I'm yeah. going to what happened? Beit Amikdash Nechrav! They destroyed Beit Amikdash! <coughs> the Romim destroyed our second Beit Mikdash! We have to do something! We have to work! We have to run! Where can we run? Anyone? Can, can you tell me where can we run? I need a high place! I need a place that I will have water! That I, I will have a place to live with the Jews! I have an idea. Once upon a time there was a king, Hordus, and he was so scared that he bought himself like a perfect place for me, like a beautiful castle, that it's high and I can hide there with all the Jews. Jews! Jews! Come! We're going! Let's, Let's go. go! Kids of Metzada, the class of Metzada, do you remember that you learned on Metzada and you did your wall, your door about it? Also, all in Dbar Yehuda. We are now learning on Dbar Yehuda. So, remember our competition. And let's sing our song one last time. And look at this amazing castle that Horus built. So, let's try. Three, two, one, it. <laughs> 